If Biden truly cared about the Israeli government killing aid workers, this is almost 200 aid, aid workers, or probably over 200 aid, aid workers that have been killed by the Israeli government, and Biden is constantly tells uh, Bibi that he needs to do more to protect civilians, but when he's the one having these people killed, it, it's like telling a murderer they need to do more to protect the people that they're murdering. It wouldn't make any sense. Today that President Biden will speak to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu tomorrow. It is their first phone call since the horrific IDF airstrike on those aid workers. CBS's Nancy Cordes joins us now from the White House. And Nancy, what can you tell us about what's going to happen in this phone call tomorrow? Well, Nora, President Biden just said last night that Israel has not done enough to protect aid workers like the ones from World Central Kitchen. There is deep frustration here about what the White House sees as a lack of coordination by the IDF and the president. Well, yeah, it was the it's the Israeli government that are killing the aid workers. It's not like it's Hamas killing the aid workers and then the IDF doing all they can to prevent them from being killed. No, it's the IDF killing the aid workers. The president is expected to convey that frustration and anger tomorrow. Beyond that, the U.S. has been very publicly, Nora, trying to talk Netanyahu out of a full-scale invasion of the city of Rafa. Officials here... If this, if this was a different nation killing 200 aid workers, uh, some of them being Americans, the United States would totally have a different... Like if this was... Iran or Afghanistan, uh, it probably would start a war. Have been proposing alternatives, so that is sure to come up as well. And Nancy, the administration has used the word unacceptable, outrage to describe these airstrikes against those aid workers, but there haven't been any consequences. Why not? not yeah, because the United States doesn't care what the Israeli government does. The United States only cares that uh, citizens in the United States and other people are upset with what the United States is doing, arming, funding, and defending the Israeli government. So they're pretending to care about the deaths that they're helping create. Not only have there been no consequences, the U.S. is actually preparing to send more weaponry to Israel, including 2,000 pound bombs, possibly fighter jets as well. White House officials tell us that Wow, so so people on the left can't pretend that uh, Biden is like doing all he can to stop uh, the Israeli government from killing innocent people. He is continually supplying them with money, with weapons. I mean, why does the Israeli gov government need a 2,000 pound bomb or fighter jets? That doesn't make any sense. The only thing the United States is doing, the Biden administration is doing, is uh, funding a genocide. Biden supports genocide, and supposedly he's the good guy here? Like, no. Uh, funding a genocide doesn't make you the good guy. It makes you evil. There are no plans to cut off aid because Israel is still the closest U.S. ally in the region and because the security of Israel has been a top U.S. priority for decades. Now, we are seeing rising anger in Congress, particularly from the left after this latest tragedy, Nora. So could that make it harder to get Congress to approve aid to Israel in the future? Absolutely. No, Biden will just bypass Congress like he's done a few times now and give as much money, as much wealth, as much bombs as the Israeli government wants because Biden wants to see the genocide of Palestinians. That's why he doesn't care that the Israeli government is stealing land in the West Bank, killing people, kidnapping people. Uh, if he truly cared about uh, the Israeli government breaking international law, he would put sanctions on them for their for everything.